Hello, Cancer. This is your May 2021. So, Cancer. So, a lot of you right now, during the month of May, are wondering where to go from here, what steps to take next. Um, hoping, you're all hoping that, you know, things are going to work out either with your past partner or with someone new. A lot of you are looking at this break coming up, this summertime situation and, and not wanting to be by yourself. Some of you, because of this pandemic, have been overwhelmed with being alone, not being in a relationship, or for some of you, dealing with somebody off and on, which has created enough anxiety alone with the pandemic, let alone your partner being there, not being there, being there, not being there. Starting off with the Nine of Wands for your first card. The Nine of Wands, and I want to get some clarity on that, but your Nine of Wands is talking about you always feeling as if you need to defend yourself, defend your words, your conversation. For some of you, it could almost be that you always feel that somebody's either picking at you, picking on you, or finding a problem with you or an issue with you. Now, for some of you, this can be at work. Somebody never seems to be happy with what you do, the way you do it, how you do it, how fast you do it, how slow you do it, whatever. Somebody may always be nitpicking. This could also be a family member. But either way, it's somebody that's showing that they're not satisfied <clears throat> or they feel they can do it better. It feels that you always have to show somebody how right you are for it, how right you are for the job, how, how right you are for them, how right you are for the position, whatever the situation is. There seems to be a little bit of confusion around here because it feels like it doesn't just happen with one person. It shows that there might be a couple different situations that are the same way. See, in both of these cards, when I wanted to clarify, both of these cards show somebody having to defend their rights or protect somebody else even. For some of you, it's every single word, again, that gets said that you have to defend. When you look at the Knight of Swords, this is somebody who also could be having nightmares or reoccurring dreams. Things where you're always trying to resolve a problem and issue or trying to get out of a situation. For a lot of you, this is going to entail a little bit of work, a little bit of shadow work even. Shadow work would be the work that you're not really aware of. Things that have to be dealt with that you're not even aware of that you're dealing with. Some of these are in your subconscious mind. There could be a little bit of balance that that is needed here. The reason I say balance is because when I get the Queen of Cups, this is a woman here who is trying desperately to please somebody. <clears throat> this is a person who always wants to give. And as they want to give, they're wanting to make someone happy. They're wanting to make an offer. So somebody could be coming toward you that is wanting to make an offer. This is also somebody who could be trying to make peace with you. So if you have a uh, person that you're not friends with right now or not talking to right now or a family member, whoever it is, somebody's wanting to come towards you. They're wanting to make peace. They're wanting to make an offer. They're willing to meet you halfway. This is what I see with this card. For some of you, it's been quite some time with the Three of Swords. It's been quite some time that you felt that you could get a good night's sleep, that you felt that you didn't have so much to worry about. It's been a while since you've had a break, so to speak. It feels like the offer opportunity here is going to be a lot to do with forgiveness and trust. Kind of like the King of Cups. You are such a kind and loving person. However, other people don't always get to see you that way. 
when I get the strength card for you in this situation, <clears throat> this seems to talk about more, this is more about your relationship. This strength card is showing that you've made it through a few battles with this person. This person that's weighing very heavily on your mind. You've made it through a few battles. And you're willing to go through a few more. You're not one that's going to quit. You're not one that's going to back up. But the power within you, the strength within yourself, because technically you're walking this line, you're putting your hand by his mouth. You're not afraid to take the next step, to take the next journey. Opportunity is definitely awaiting you. For some of you, it's going to be really important to finish something up with school or education. For some of you, it's about taking that final test or exam and passing it. For a lot of you, it's like you're, you're trying to find out how to deal with a person in your life who, who doesn't always give you the kindest words or who doesn't always compliment you like they should. The person in your life here is somebody who, yes, you care about and, and they have feelings for you too. But for some of you, I think your feelings are moving a lot quicker than your partner's. I think your partner needs to catch up. But they can't seem to catch up because you keep going further and further and faster and faster. So I need you to kind of roll it back a little bit. Kind of stand still a little bit. Let them show you their initiative. Let them take the next initiative to ask you out to go somewhere. Let them be the next one to call you or text you. Be patient and wait. Create a little bit of a challenge for this person because they feel it's too easy. They, they feel there's nothing to have to work for or fight for. For some of you here, you're looking at the situation from one perspective. For some of you, you're looking for one thing, but it's really quite the other. In other words, you might be searching right there in the books between A and D, when you should be on the next shelf down, looking between E and K. There's something going on here with the initials M or T. M or T. Any way you can flip those initials around, M or T seems very strong. Yes, the name Michael comes into effect. It also feels like there's there could be a Mary or a Margaret. For some of you, you've been dealing with not knowing how to understand somebody's personality, somebody's dry sense of humor even. There seems to be a struggle here trying to get the message across either to you, them trying to get a message across to you, or you trying to get one across to them. <clears throat> it feels like communication is the biggest problem here. It's the biggest issue that you're dealing with. For some of you, it feels as if you're giving up in a certain way. Because you don't know how to deal with it. The books on the floor and on the bed show <clears throat> you went there, you pulled the certain books out, but you didn't find the answer that you were looking for. For some of you, there is a message coming from afar. Somebody is going to communicate to you. You're going to find out something. It's going to make something more clear. It's going to make you understand exactly where things stand. For a lot of you, I know that you wanted to believe everything that came out of their mouth. In the beginning, they did make you feel like that princess or that prince. They did make you feel very special. They did make you feel as if this is how it's supposed to be. 
a fairy tale sort of thing. Some of you may have pulled back on the situation and kind of drifted off to yourself. The reason that you ended up taking back your own self right now is because there was, in fact, a tower moment. This tower moment ended up creating a lot of hostility, creating a lot of back and forth, a lot of upheaval, a lot of being upset and worried about something. For some of you, this tower moment represents trust issues. Somebody may have told you they were one place when in fact they were another. They may have said they were with one type of person or one particular person, but they were with another. For a lot of you, this could be a same-sex relationship or this could be something that's more of, yes, heterosexual as well. But it feels like there is something you've learned about this person that was quite shocking. Something that made you feel uncomfortable. Something that you didn't know how to handle. For some of you, there might be a restaurant involved or a person might work for a restaurant. Whoever that person is, that's the person that I feel the energy around you. Somebody that has to do with a restaurant. Either they own a business, they might work in the business. They may be a cook, they may be a waiter, a waitress. Somebody around a restaurant, a diner perhaps. This person is watching you very carefully. This person is wanting to come towards you and make this offer because, yep, the Knight of Pentacles comes up. And the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that's coming towards you that wants to make this offer. This person may feel as if they finally found the one when they meet you. They may feel like you are the only one for them. A lot of you are still going through the struggle from being left outside from somebody, being pushed away, being knocked down, being rejected. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that because what I feel is that that person who was rejecting you, okay, let them go. Right now they're turning in a different direction because they think they want something else or someone else. They think that's going to work for them. They're going back to something that didn't work the first time. Therefore, they're going to have to make a choice or decision at some point in time. But while they're busy trying to make a decision, you're already handling your situation. You are freeing yourself from these chains and these bonds. You're not stuck anymore. You have freed yourself from this situation. You have chosen love now because this new person that is coming in, you're going to accept their offer. You know exactly what it is that you want. The last person, they didn't know if they could give you that. But now, look at you now. You are going to be very excited with the outcome in the month of May. The way things are going to turn around. Listen, God don't make mistakes. He knows what he's doing. Allow things to change and happen the way that they're doing it right now. Because at the end, you are going to have exactly everything that you've ever desired. May is going to be a very good start for you to a very happy ending.